Hello everyone, Sotlin here and welcome back to another truly bedrock live stream here on Twitch. I'm getting so used to doing these intros. It's Technical Thursday, not truly bedrock. Hello everybody, we got Archangel and Kaz being the very first persons here yet again. Whole hour early, what are you doing? We also got Wire Guy, POA, Liz, Zero Cruel, Lucas, and Bonsai Stamps Husky, and Light and Long with Zombie Clown, Rider Scale, him, and Buggy, Galaxite Best, Lord Vader, Breb, Dexter Dex, Ace of Diamonds, Joe Show, Pretzel Rocks, Raymond Soto, Breb, Salt, uh, Desal, and Fridge. How you guys doing? Tonight we're gonna be doing some more Technical Thurs Technical Tuesday, but it's it's Thursday, so we call it Technical Thursday. Yeah, I'm really really clever and original when it comes to these names don't you know it anyway we do have name it items turned on because i have just the the perfect amount of experience to name one item with so we're gonna start doing name it items in this world we've kind of already done them before but whatever we'll make an area for the name it items no reason not to right rude i'm not rude you're rude anyway so tonight we need to work on an op storage system of doom and destruction for a number of different items such as big 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 raid farms and uh, guardian farms basically anything that produces like over 9,000 items an hour you're gonna need uh, kind of a storage system similar to this this is what we kind of picked up and did for the uh, what should we call it the piglin bartering farm I know how to do words I cannot use cheats creative mode and commands Eh, I'll survive. I'll survive. If I can go into there, there we go. Figured you might do that. That hurt. <laughs> so yeah, we've already kind of done some testing for this in the past, but I have some different ideas. And this specific system right here had the limitation of having to be in the nether so you couldn't use water streams. But we will just kind of, you know, use water, whatever, it's fine. I think we might be able to get away with not using water either way. Maybe some slight modifications. So I'm thinking we're going to build this somewhere over in this area. Because this is kind of like the whole storage sector of the world. We got to name a blue oxalotl bubbles. Uh, can you summon a blue oxalotl? Oxalotl? Oxalotls. I also want to do some more testing with a lay item sorters tonight. Because I think we might be able to make this a little bit faster. Which is definitely going to be important for this kind of storage system because this is pretty slow it's one item every three seconds which is not great that's just not great can't really can't really handle that can you let's get back into creative shall we let's see summon oxalotl do 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 minecraft become blue there's got to be a command for it blue dory what's a blue dory not a, not a blue oxalotl, that's for sure. Well, if I figure out how to summon a blue one, I'll name it. Hello, Metal. Welcome in. Why not use a shulker on loader for pigpen bartering since there is so many items? Well, you want to sort them out into chests. You could you could put them into shulkers if you wanted to. Yeah, I mean, that's that's fine. Whatever. As blue or something. As adult, as baby. There's got to be a way. Surely. There's probably... There might be a specific name for it. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll have to look at that later. Because there is a whole list of commands and stuff for that. So, do we actually have enough room for this? We might want to maybe carve out some of this mountain over here. Now that I'm thinking about it. We could carve out a little bit of this. Because this isn't really important anyway. This will just give us all the room that we need. So what have you guys been up to today? Anything fun? Anything interesting or clever? Is that gonna work? There we go. I don't think there's anything in the, over in this whole area, so we should be fine to just delete it all. Sometimes I do build on the actual terrain, though, and that's a bad idea. Because then I gotta worry about that later. Entity born. Yeah, that's going to summon you a baby one. Oh, 
It is actually blue. That that shouldn't happen. Why is his neck broken? I broke his neck. <laughs> okay. That really should not summon a blue one. But okay. Does it do that every time? It does. Okay. That's dumb. Thanks. That really shouldn't happen. That should that should not happen. But okay. That command's made to summon a baby one, as it does, but that's it's a blue baby one. Why is there lava over here? This is not what I want to do with my life right now. I don't want to deal with lava. Nobody likes lava. Anyway. Hopefully this will be enough room. We can carve out a little bit more in this area. I guess we have to go put that blue oxalato at world spawn or something. There we go. Okay. I don't really care if it looks too messy or not. We'll, we'll clean it up later. So, we're going to kill the second one. And maybe we'll just take the first one back on the lead. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not too sorry. Okay. Come on, you. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no. He's going to die. Ah, he died. Okay. Well, whatever. I tried. You saw that I tried. I put in an attempt. It's not my fault that leads are garbage. Okay. It's not my fault. I did put in an attempt. <laughs> Terribly sorry. Okay, so we need to name this guy Bubbles. We have this whole little thing right here, actually. It's slightly cursed. I don't know why it's like that, but uh, we'll just we'll just make our own little puddle over here. It really should not summon a blue one, but you know what? That's fine. That makes our life a, a lot easier, doesn't it? We got Dan Big Boy, or Dan Big B, sorry. Thank you for resubscribing for 15 months. Sometimes. I never understand how you guys are around for so long. And we've been streaming for that long? God. <laughs> Time flies. Tried. Yeah, I did try a lot. Anyway, thank you for the, uh, the dude. Do we need to get him a fish? It's a uh, tropical fishy, right? Yes. Oh god, yeah, it's one tropical fish per 10% speed up. That is, that's a lot of tropical fish. These things need to be stackable. That's what we need. It needs to be stackable. Yeah, that's pretty much the command that we're using for the for the fill. Yeah, that should be a lot more room, actually. Okay. So I have some pretty good ideas for how we're going to do this. We're going to have to separate all, all the items into multiple different streams. There are several different bugs and bedrock edition that prevent you from doing things in a nice way do i have a demo of that bug because we kind of need to do some overview of a storage check before we get into this that way you guys kind of understand what the what the goal is i'm pretty sure i have a little demo of this somewhere here it is one of these is it this one yeah it's this one okay wait no it's not that one i don't know what those ones are i think they'll work anyway Let's get a piece of gold, shall we? So basically, the issue is, is that if you throw, if you have a hopper that's set up in the form of an item filter, so like this one's only going to be able to pick up gold, it can't pick up a stair, for example, the items on top of that hopper stack up and it only reads the first item in that stack. So even though this hopper should be able to pick up that piece of gold, it doesn't, which is just the most annoying thing on the planet. Uh, cause that prevents us from really doing like most things that we should be able to do. Absolutely terrible bug. I hate it. It's despicable. I think there's still an issue where the hopper minecarts are directional offset as well. Yeah. So they are reading from the Southeast. They're not perfectly centered. Their collection area isn't perfectly centered. So they won't pick up from the North or the West, but the South they'll take items out of here. For no reason. And then the east as well. So that's not very convenient. Oh, this is more Pikmin Barding Farm. No wonder I got storage tech over there. And then we also have just like an, a bunch of other storage tech over here. It's really spread out as it turns out. I thought I had one area for it, but now it's kind of everywhere. So you got the standard single speed item sorters. A few different ways of doing that. This is a non-stackable item filter. Or no, this is just a classic item filter. Valve overflow protection got the classic impulse sorter a bedrock edition version of that 
uh, this is an easy way to do double speed item sorting. So hoppers can only transfer 9,000 items per hour. So if you have like your input and then your output, only 9,000 items can move across that per hour. So this system allows you to push items over at 9,000 hour and this one will pull items down at 9,000 hours. So that's, that's an easy way to do 18,000. Uh, this one right here is double, double speed sorter. Yeah, so that's uh, kind of using the same mechanic, double speed tileable, which might actually be kind of useful for today. I forgot that we had that. There's several different bugs in Bedrock Edition. Really? No, I know it couldn't be. Hello, Zulius. Welcome in. Glad you enjoy the stuff. You beat the dragon on a peaceful? Nice. Congratulations. That's great. Yes, yeah, so we might use this today, actually. Uh, this is a tieable double speed sorter. Two per slice. What does that mean? Two per slice of ice water. I don't know what that means. Two per slice of I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, this one's a four times non tieable four times speed collection, two times speed storage. And then we can double that up to be four times true four times. Uh, so this hopper minecarts pick up items four times faster than regular hoppers, by the way. That's just something good for you to know. And then these guys are taking half of those items and splitting them across four hoppers. So this is true four times, which is actually really fun to watch. Like, it's just a lot of items that come through here. <laughs> so that might be useful today. non double four, five, two times speed collection. Use this hopper minecart bug. We probably shouldn't do that. Oh, yeah. This uses the stupid bug that I showed you guys earlier. Two per slice of pizza? Mmm. That's a great deal. Would be nice to have. Oh, yeah. This is the target block one. Yeah, this works now. Yeah. That works. And then all this stuff over here is just standard generic. Uh, like little demo systems for that. So... We can combine all of our knowledge here, all of our power, and figure out what we're doing. I think that this system right here might actually be a great idea to use. We should definitely grab this structure. Because that's, that's legitimately super useful. Chest boat. Chest boat might be useful for something. Um, I don't know. Because that's just for item distribution. Like, you can split it across nine hoppers or whatever. I don't know if that's going to be particularly useful today. But we'll find out. We're just going to plop that right there for now. Can I get some I can I get some hopper? I was looking for item hopper. <gasps> it's it's not called item hopper in the inventory. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Okay, so it's just called hopper in the inventory, right? But you open it up, it says item hopper. There's a bug. It's a bug, guys. I found a bug. That's one point for bed rock edition being dumb today. We're off to a great start. I've never used chest boat. Uh I haven't used chest boat for any form of storage system. Should I have? Mm, bug. Delicious bugs. Delicious, delicious bugs. Do I think the next update is the inventory overhaul? It might be because Minecraft, the official Minecraft Twitter page, just put out a poll asking us what we think about the Bedrock Edition UI and storage UI. So there is a chance that maybe hypothetically. It's a plausibility. It is an absolute plausibility. Maybe. I don't know. So, my idea is, to start off with, we're going to have our main bulk of items being traveling over here from the output of your farm. So, they're going to go just... Vroom room very quick with the airplane noises you gotta have the airplane noises make them travel faster 
Just like putting flames on your car. Just makes it travel faster, guys. Uh, you know what? I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get all these carts in here. Oh, I think I will. <laughs> no, I definitely did not. Okay. We got to turn these rails around. Kind of annoying. Rails are kind of annoying. We need a tool to, like, manually change the direction that rails are going. Because this... This is bad. Nobody likes this. So then we're going to have hopper, hopper minecarts underneath each one of these item streams. And that is going to split our items into different rows. I keep typing in item because I keep thinking about items. I got items on the brain. <laughs> the debug stick. Yeah, that's kind of super cheaty though. So each one of these is going to spit out 9,000 items an hour. We're going to be uh, collecting items technically faster than that because Hopper Minecarts pick up times four, but that doesn't matter, whatever. So each one of these is going to split by 9,000. The reason why we need to do this is because of that Hopper bug that I just showed you. If it weren't for that Hopper bug, we could just do this like all in one stream. But because of that bug, we got to separate them out. So the idea behind this is that we can have 9,000 items right here. 9,000, 9,000, 9,000, 9,000, 9,000, 9,000, 9,000. I don't know if we can do it one by tileable like this. Maybe. We'll figure it out. So then we'll have some items going in this direction. Uh, you know, let's drop this down a layer so I have some more room to work with. And then we can send 9,000 in this area. 9,000 in that area. What's the fastable table item sorter you have? You want to upgrade your garden farm storage system? That's, this is kind of what we're designing right now is garden farm storage. Because this is going to be for any farm that's like big and bad and OP. Uh, so this is going to be for like the 24 stacked raid farm or guardian farms or really anything. That produces just like an absolute ton of items. Okay, that should be plenty enough. So you kind of get the idea. Each one of these goes in a different area. I got carried away and built too many. Chest boat. It doesn't censor that. Uh, let's see. We need to... Eh, we could read from the hoppers. I'm not worried about how we exactly power this. Could just set up a clock as well. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Big pitchfork. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. It's kind of like a, a double-sided quadruple E. Something like that. Uh, Marcus, thank you for the follow. Zulius with the follow as well. We got Canada. Canada Day? Day? Something like that. Uh, Jojo, thank you for the five months of Prime Subbage. Really appreciate it. Nearly half a year. We got Fireo and Felix along with Taboo and a couple others. Thank you for the follows, guys. What's the best farm I made? Uh, it kind of depends on what you, what you measure by. So now from here, we need to figure out how to actually collect our items. We could use the Hopper Minecart item storage, but now we're running into the issue where we only have like, you know, a few blocks between sections. So we have really just the two blocks, which makes me think that we should probably s split this up a little bit. We need to figure out how to collect the items and sort them and have like an item filter down here uh you can use a which one is it detector rail i think it's a detector rail is that the one where you can measure it with the comparator i always forget it's got to be that one because the activator rail like turns these cards off yeah okay great Yeah, maybe if we had four blocks to work with, we could do this. Make it half as dense. We should probably go take a look at our... Sorters that we have over here as well. Since we already designed some Hopper Minecart Sorters. The 
this farm you've not made yet. Probably a bat farm. Oh, wandering trader farm? Yeah, wandering trader farm. Probably that one. Uh, this uses the bug as well. Because it's reading too far over. So I'd rather not use any bugs in my system that's determined to fix bugs. That has to work around bugs ready. Uh, if we'd line up our items, we could just use this system as well. So maybe we'll, we'll worry about that too. Subscriber farm, of course. All farms are subscriber farms. Except bat farms. That's why I haven't made it. That's an anti-subscriber farm. Yeah, so if we line our items up with a chest or whatever, then that would let them go into there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is so big, though. Look at that. It's six blocks. Oof. If how many bug fixes there's been for the Wandering Trader, it's easy to make a farm for them now. Really? I might have to actually look into that. Because Wandering Traders are dumb. They deserve to be farmed. What about Foxy No-Tail Farm? Um, uh, it's just a truly bedrock farm, I think. We need one of these that's, like, really small. This one is a five that uses a bug, that uses a bug. This one does use a bug, but it's only two times actual item storage. I don't think we can fix that anymore. Six. Six is pretty bad. Smell like Kuma. What is that in context to? People on sub when they see Bat Farm, they do. They're like, okay, this channel's done everything it can. Moving on. <laughs> Plus, would rake bedrock? Uh, there's a couple different ways. None that are really that great. I'm trying to think if there's any way to shorten this. It doesn't seem like it. Maybe if we build it on both sides of the water stream. I think I had a design for that, actually. I mean, this this is kind of that. It, not exactly what I was thinking, but this is... Uh, you can line up items on the left and on the right. That's kind of clever. I do like this, actually. Yeah, let's get some diamond blocks. Let's try this out. Sometimes it's good to look at your old stuff, because you, you already put in a lot of work before, and some of those ideas are legit kind of good. So we'll drop those right there. Yeah, those line up with the left side. Uh, that did not go anywhere. And then those line up the right side. And those are all two times speed sorters. Oh, okay. So that's why this one's better. Because this one you can put on either side of the water stream. Two per slice of ice water. Wait, yeah. So this one you can only have one of per, per water stream. Because it's directly below the ice. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like that. We might be able to use this, actually. A bee's nest farm? Uh, that's just kind of a tree farm and a plains biome, really. Why would you need a bee nest farm? You can just breed bees. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, you know what? We're going to grab a structure of this real quick. I have a structure for... You. Save. Give me this. What of that? Structure blocks are literally the best. They're not as good as the bee's knees nest farm, but you know what? They're pretty good. What's my opinion on gold farms? Since I'm a zombie big man. Ooh. Getting <laughs> getting spicy. <laughs> uh, they are completely immoral, and only I should be able to let, uh, build them. Yes. Nobody should be building building those farms. Can buy and block for survival in 119. There are ways to get those in survival. Uh, they kind of can corrupt your world though, so wouldn't really, really recommend doing that. Emmanuel B farm. I think Tistom's got that 
Got that down pretty well. Let's go ahead and shrink this down. I'm going to paste this into place on the upper build. Your bees all disappear from your bee farm. That's terrible. Poor bees. Uh, this should be all we need. 5A, save. And then we gotta figure out how to, like, twist this. Get it twisted. Uh, let's see. 90 degrees? Yeah, that might actually do it. Is that gonna be completely lined up perfectly? Yes. Where the... Okay, I already had a helper minecart there. That makes sense. Structure block. We can do that. You want just like a default one or you want to have something saved? Black site burst. Uh, none of these ones are default, are they? There we go. Yeah, I need to make a new uh, moss farm as well. I want to make one that's uh, a little bit... A little bit smaller and more tileable. Because my current one's pretty good. But... It is only a single, like a single moss farm. It's very good, but when you compare it to ones that can be stacked and stuff, or like multiple, then it's less ideal. Oop, there we go. Guess that'll just be our name and item wall. Oh, 4,000. Hmm, right. I way, way overshot that. I have no idea which direction it was. Uh, let's see if I remember the coordinates of spawn. Uh, I want to say it's negative 1,500. Nah. Does anybody remember our coordinates? <laughs> I way overshot. I think I could just kill myself. That would be fine. Big ocean. That was a really big ocean. I, I have never explored, like, this world. I have no idea what the seed is. Do, do, do. Come on, world. Load it up. Let's see, we should need to go this way. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be careful when you're typing in your teleport commands. Never know what might go wrong. <laughs> uh, Real, thank you for seven months. Welcome back. Two-thirds of a year, basically. Come on, world. You can load in. This world gets a little bit stubborn sometimes. Okay, we're going to have to relog, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Mm. I'll just give it a minute. Uh, will, will the pink sheep just be out there on its own, or will I move to spawn? It's, it just lives out there. Yeah, it lives out there now. I have no issues with that. Pink sheep is living its best life. I'm not gonna, like, disturb it. That sounds very rude. Let's rotate this thing, uh, to set. Wait. Can I not have it on this side of the structure block? I guess I can't. That's almost what I need. There we go. Yeah, something like that. That'll do it. So then we can line up items on both sides of this. So we can essentially have two droppers. And that would help us get a little bit more efficiency out of this. We really need to design uh, this filter that is a little bit smaller, though. That's 
that's kind of a priority right now because that that's a very large uh filter and if we can get that to be double speed but smaller i feel like that'd be great founder badge those are rare here yes they are i actually they just rolled out a feature on twitch where you can see your original founders and you can reject some of those people so if there's people that are like never around anymore uh we can reject their founders badge and give that to people who are around uh which is something that i need to do i have no idea where to see that though because twitch is really dumb when they come to their menus like oh my god it is just a total cluster of menus for creators it's just it's bad it's really bad right so let's let's think about this we want to collect items right here in this hopper we need to read from that but also push this across we can't have the comparator right here because this needs to not drain into that sometimes instead of locking this hopper we are instead pushing this item hopper over we could find a way to lock that hopper that would also be perfectly fine i think that might be kind of a challenge on this scale but why not let's let's at least try it so how would we go about locking this by the way this right here is actually two times hopper speed as well because this one's pulling items down from above and this one's pushing items down too uh, as you can see, that just drained a whole stack of items very quickly. So we should see this getting taken out by twos. Yep, taken out by twos. Uh, so we should be able to just power this block, I believe. And that would achieve the same effect. Uh, if we place a glass block right here, that should allow us to put a resin torch. And then that should be fine. I think this might actually work. I don't know if it's smaller, though. We'll have to count it. I just put the... Where's the redstone at? There we go. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we caught, we caught off a block. Uh, now we just need to make that smaller. I'm not sure if we can do that. Because it needs three redstone dust in front of it. Biodrone, thank you for five months of resubscriberage. Welcome back. What are we talking about? We're trying to design a uh, big old... Big old item sort of thing. Repeater farm. Oh, yeah. Repeater farm. That's definitely what we need. Uh, thank you. The other names were taken for the follow. We also got last one left with the follow. Hi, my name is Amir with the follow. One, two, three. Uh, Ali Jasm and it's actually Aspen. Thank you for the follows as well. Spencer farm. You know what we need? Stone slab farm. Stone slab farm. Uh, you know what? This is going to lock this hopper right here, so that's not quite ideal, is it? Yeah, that's not ideal at all. Mm, how would we go about fixing that? Because we don't want to make it too, too wide. Auto crafting farm. That would be very nice. Yeah, we can't have it go this direction. And we don't want to move it down another block. That would be rather pointless. I guess we could just have... Uh... Here we go. How about this? No, we can't power that one. We need to power this one directly. at least make it a little bit cheaper i guess put a barrel there or something whatever not quite as ideal is it a wooden sword farm oh yeah did we have 20 founders i thought it was the first 10 subs ever were only the founders you're about to build the 24 stacked raid farm any additional advice follow the tutorial very very strictly otherwise probably bad time probably very bad time uh, you know what? We actually can make this a little bit smaller. Let's let's treat this the standard way. Because we can have this just go out by two blocks. So if we have the redstone like this. 
And then we would have a target block right here to conduct that redstone. Will that actually power a hopper though? I'm not sure. What's the founder badge look like? It just says first. It's the one on Realm's name. Or real am so. Aha! Look at that. Target blocks are great. Okay. We need more compact redstone. That's what we need. Hopper is equals lag. Yeah, it's whatever. Yeah, I mean, now we're just recreating the original, like, item sorter. We can't really do that, though, because we need this to be... No blocks right here. Hmm. There is challenges. I guess maybe we can make the water stream too wide. I don't think there's any issues with that. Is an item sorter? Yeah, we're trying to figure out how to build a better two-speed item sorter. What's my favorite color? Mm, transparent. You're in nine villages out of 24? <laughs> Well, good luck. Seems like you're doing pretty good so far if you got nine, though. Like, that's that's a fairly good amount. Okay, so that's kind of the minimum it can be out, is four blocks. You can't get it any smaller than that. But for this particular design, I think we need to go out further. I think it has to be at least five. Just for it to be... Yeah, but then you're getting into the issues with that. Ah, redstone torches. Making a mega item sorter. We're trying. Seems like this probably is, like, the best way to go. You guys see any ways to compactify this? Because that's what I'm trying to do, and I'm failing. I'm being technical. I'm trying. Technically a derp. We need redstone that can go on, like, the sides of blocks and, like, underneath blocks. And we just need more compact redstone. We need, like, a hollow block. Oh, my God. That would be great. So, treat it like scaffolding. But you could place, like, redstone inside of it. So, if we had a scaffolding right here, we'd be able to place, you know, a redstone on top of there. And, a, and like, a repeater on the inside of it. That would actually be pretty helpful. That would be very, very helpful. A hollow block. That would be super helpful. That would compact so many things. We could stack repeaters on top of each other. Would I recommend the LA item sorter? The one that is released? Sure. You need it just for a small kind of thing. That's all you need. Yeah, so that would technically be all we need uh, for that. That would be very compact. Technically trying. Yeah. An attempt at being a big brain. We could do two wide streams, I guess. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. So that'd be 12 blocks wide if you wanted two of those. And then... It would be 13 if you wanted two of these. So this this does still save you a block. Every time you come here, new emotes emerge. We don't add new emotes too often. Make an item sort of no lag. That's called the player. You have to push the stone like I don't know what that is. Hmm. How big is a regular item sorter? Let's figure that out real quick, because I always somewhat forget how to build these things. For how simple they are, I legit forget. maybe you only need like a single one uh the more items we can fit per stream technically the 
less streams you need. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do with the double, the double filters. So that's still five. I think it's worth it to try for the double. Like SMH Thursday. Yeah, it's still going to be five, no matter really what you do. Unless you uh, push this forward a block. That's not very ideal. So you could get it down to four. That's like absolute minimum. But that's not going to be doing any favors because you still have to go underneath the ice. So that's not really an option. Baby horse or oxalotl? Uh, baby oxalotl is definitely cuter. So if you just wanted like a tiny bit of storage, then this would t kind of be what you have to do. Uh, this isn't really this isn't really an option though. I don't think this is gonna work. The stupid redstone torch is in the way. If we could place a redstone torch on the side of a piece of redstone, like right here, that would be interesting. We need more cursed item placements in this game. Or I need to get better at redstone. One of the two. One of the two. And I feel like it's Minecraft that should change, not me. Yeah, that would, that would kind of do it. Just standard item filter. Uh, faster one that doesn't use portal ticking? Probably not. Pretty much no one builds non-portal ticking gold farms. I think mine's probably the only one. Ice and water versus hoppers? Yeah, we want to avoid hopper streams. We're not going to put hopper streams above the top because those are very slow item water streams are cheaper and they're also just faster and better you could replace this with a single hopper stream but that wouldn't really be doing you very many favors that's kind of what we did over here so for this one we collect the items into here split it across four and then just had bulk storage and then one hopper line went across you know all these we essentially just had like six different storage systems right next to each other so that's kind of what we're trying to design today as well uh i think this which one do you guys think we should go with uh you're probably gonna do the same item on both sides so it doesn't matter if there's air of double chests in the middle So we should probably make sure this is actually a functional sorter. Alright, that hopper is definitely the, facing the wrong direction. Uh, I think that's only going to be single speed still, actually. Because uh, it has to point downwards to be double. Well, that's pain. Maybe we have to do this one, then. Yeah, it has to point down to be double. Well, that's dumb. We do need a new inventory update, don't we? There's so many items in this game. Especially with the bugs that are in this game. We uh, definitely need some bug fixes and some other ways to do item storage and collection. This one's not valid. I think we have to go with this one. It's silly. That is silly indeed. It's not a bad design. It's just a little bit larger than I would like it to be. I prefer it to be smaller. Is there a way to do that? Do more items that can go on the offhand? That would be great. That'd be great indeed. We just need the offhand in general on Bedrock. On Java, you can put anything in the offhand. So 
So if we power this from beneath here. We just need to get that down by three blocks. We might actually be able to do that. Can we do that? <gasps> Look at that. Okay. That's something. That saves us a block. Makes it so you can't open that chest, but that chest isn't important anyway. That's just there for uh, like preliminary storage. And then that filters downwards into actual, actual storage. Now, can we push this over a block more? I don't think we can. Especially if we're trying to avoid going beneath this piece of ice. Yeah, actually, you know what? When I designed all this stuff, target blocks did not function correctly. Because they didn't uh, conduct redstone power at all on Bedrock Edition for a long time. If you guys remember that, they did not conduct redstone power. So that would just be turned off. Which was really dumb. That was like that for legit, like, probably six months or more. And then they finally fixed it, which is fantastic. Thank you, Mojang. We appreciate you greatly. Uh, if we could remove... We need to, like, make it more compact. And I'm not sure if there is a way to do that. You guys seeing a way to make this smaller with all your big brains? 140 brains are better than one. We need modded inventory and survival. We just need a chest that you can put infinite items in and have a search bar for. Kind of like this right here. That way you can just do this in survival. This this seems like it would be a very good update to the game. <laughs> I mean, this they got it figured out. I don't know what the big deal is. You just add this to survival, Mojang. It seems like it would work out really well for everybody. I mean, it's such a simple system and it works so well. I swear, sometimes, Mojang, they just don't know what's what's a good idea. This disc. Oh, that doesn't travel down. That's right. Ew. This redstone's dumb. You only have two brain cells and one's on vacation. That That's very relatable. <laughs> that's very relatable. Honestly, you kind of you kind of need that nowadays. Where is it on vacation to? I hope it's somewhere nice and tropical. Unless you don't like the tropics. In which case, what is wrong with you, you monster? But also to each their own. I respect your decision. But I'm still gonna judge you for it. Okay, that should actually work out pretty well. So that's gonna be four times item sorting speed in a 11 wide package. That's not terrible. That's not actually terrible. All of your two brain cells are on vacation in the Bahamas, which is weird because you're too broke for that. Well, I hear shipping is very cheap for two brain cells. I mean, they probably they probably wouldn't even notice, to be fair. Sadly, all your brain cells left me. Uh, you also have two brain cells. One of them you share with your friend. That's kind of fun. That's great. Went, it went to Antarctica. I got fed up with the Texas heat. Yeah, that's that's understandable. I can, I can definitely understand that. Uh, let's go ahead and get this a little bit more figured out. Kind of off to a slow start here, aren't we? I didn't want to say anything, but I feel like I should tell you that there's been some technical delays. God dang it. Why has it got to power that too? That's not fair. And my other brain cell knows very little redstone. 
That's not fair at all. Why does it got to power that? Do we have to push it out a block further? We might have to. Cause yeah, because you can't power from beneath. You got to power from the side. Man, that's not fair. We need to be able to customize our resin components. Only power going straight up, man. Straight up. Uh, We could do... Do we need to do an overflow proof one? I think it does need to be overflow proof. Push it down one. Yeah. We could. A vertical room isn't as much of an issue, I don't think. It's always something, man. Uh, I think we have to put a chest right there, too, though. Is that still going to drain and fill at two times speed? Hold on. No, that's single speed. Yeah, because we're bottlenecked by this right now. Yeah, so it has to be a block higher. We can't go underneath the water stream. Hmm. Barrel for lack of efficiency. Yeah, it doesn't matter at this point, though. Because this don't work. Yeah, it's got to be... It's got to be the original design, doesn't it? Huh. Maybe, like... We have to use three redstone, don't we? Because two redstone breaks the system when it gets overflowed. Yeah. Why is there a diamond right there? What are you doing? You're dumb. Ah, oh, I picked up all the junk. That's that's my own fault. <laughs> None of these items should exist. Use the lays. Problem solved. No issues with them. No, no issues at all with the lays. None. Yeah, we would need to... Because you can't power that block. That's a no-go. So you have to power the back of this. Which means that we have to go back to using a repeater. Because you can't have a piece of redstone dust right there. Because it just gets powered directly. And that's not fair. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we gotta just go back to doing this. Well, I'm glad we discovered why I built it this way in the beginning. That's great. <laughs> we've 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 found something out. We learned something new, and that is that I had it right the first time. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I guess that's just about it. Okay. Bit silly. Yeah, so that should be double speed. That definitely looks double speed. Yeah, that's double speed. Okay. And then that's going to be double speed too. Yep. Okay. Well. Unless we think of something new, this is just what we're going to have to go with for now. So whatever. That's fine. Whatever. I'm not upset at all. Definitely not. Why would you think that? Why would you even consider that as a possibility? That, uh, this could even remotely be an option. Now, that being said, there is additional opportunities for this. Because if we're going to be sorting the same item per slice, so, like, you know, we're going to be sorting uh, potatoes here and potatoes here, then we could maybe share some of the redstone. Or at least some of the sorting in the middle. Redstone 1, Silent 0. Yeah. <laughs> I think my dumb counter just went up to 1 for tonight. And then uh, Bedrock is still at 1. So at the very least, we're tied. I'm tied with a video game for being smart. I can, I can live with that. A lot of smart people put a lot of time into this game, and if I'm equal to that, then, you know, that's that's fine. <laughs> mm. 
Mm, that's not quite right. Maybe I'm not quite equal. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, whatever. So, yeah, we need to find a way to, like, maybe combine some of this at the bottom here. I think that's plausible. So if that hopper is getting pushed over, we could have our double chest right here. Share it like that. Uh, we would have the issue on this side, though. So that would get pushed over and be filling that one up at two times speed. This would not be getting emptied at two times. So it would have to go in this direction for that. I mean, that's not really helping anything, is it? It's just a different way of building it. Can't rotate the rest of 90 degrees and make it just three wide? I mean, we could make it three wide, but that also defeats the purpose as well, because we want this to be one by tileable. We want a slice here, 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 and here. Um, so there's, there's that. Knock, knock. <gasps> Who's there? Hello, Meg Blake. Welcome in. Yeah, so I don't see any benefit to doing this. It's just an alternative that we don't really need, I don't feel. So, whatever. It's the wandering trader knocking. <gasps> no! No one's home. I refuse to answer the door. Okay. Well, whatever. We'll just go with this. If we find a better design later, it'll be easy enough to uh, redesign it. Uh, that should be 13, right? Yeah. That'll do it for that side. And then we'll just leave that one right there for now. So we can come back to it later. Uh, that might get powered though. So let's put it right here actually. Wait, no, which one of these is it? Is it this one? Yeah, that one. Armist launch is gonna happen this time. Get, a get, early get up early to watch on Monday. Uh, it's not happening on Monday. It's happening on Saturday, isn't it? Saturday the 3rd. Oh, you got up early on Monday. Right, last month. Yeah, this this Monday. Yeah. Uh, the original launch. That was a Monday. I got up early for that, too. I was not happy. Apparently, it's just like a bad sensor or something. Bad sensor. Uh, so I think we can do this fairly easily. We just have a dropper facing that way and a dropper facing this way. That one will shoot items out to the right side. Uh, this one will shoot them out to the left side. Except that we also need to line them up over the edge. Because that's not quite good enough, is it? So if we just throw them over like that. That's not a diamond block. Yeah, that's not quite over the edge. Even though it rotates over the edge, it's not quite over the edge. Saturday the 3rd. Yep, that's going to be the Artemis... Uh, one launch, take two. And it should be good to go this time. And I think that's going to be at 2.30 p.m. Eastern time. If I remember correctly from what Creeper Tux was saying. I'm not sure. I'm sure you can figure it out on the NASA website. So we can activate these very quickly, I think. Because uh, this is going to be four times item speed collection per slot. Uh, right, we need to have these fire into a chest, don't we? 
And then this one's going to be interesting to figure out. I think we can fire it into a piece of water that's angled. I need this stuff to get out of my way. So if we have the water itself angled slightly, that would just push it up against the edge for us. So where's water at in this new... I'm excited for Artemis. Hopefully it works out well. Going back to the moon. That's super cool and super important. Yeah, so you need them to be angled. So this is going to push items up against the left side. Which is all you need. Yep, that'll get picked up right there and sorted. And then if we have a dropper... Uh, let's see, how would you do that? Maybe you have your dropper right here. Would this shoot them out in the correct way? I'm not sure if they get pushed back in the wrong direction from that. Yeah, they would. Hmm. Actually, I think we can just drop them against this wall right here. Maybe. If it's not, like, shooting items literally everywhere. Yeah. Actually, that would work. We don't even need the angled water. Okay. Simple solution. Well, honey blocks. Uh, honey blocks are basically the same as a chest, though, isn't it? Does it slow down items? I'm not sure if it does or not. I forget. When do I think I have a tutorial on this? Uh, whenever I get something concrete figured out. These streams are just for like prototyping and figuring out stuff. Figuring out the basics. What do I think about the Lego Minecraft 6? Lego Minecraft is great. You never go wrong with Lego Minecraft. Uh, so then we'll have this one fire into a chest right here. The water will be right here as well. And then the next one would be firing in this direction and have glass block right here. Okay. That should work. Right? I don't know why the auto clicker doesn't make this thing power faster. You would think it would shoot out very quickly, but it does not. It shoots out the same as just like my regular clicking speed. Uh, let's go ahead and try this one as well. That should work as long as we have a roof above this. And then we just need to figure out how to power both of these at once. And I think we can just do that temporarily with a super janky system like this. And if the items combine, that might be an issue. But maybe it'll be fine. We might have to power them in alternate. Cost isn't a super big factor in this, but I do want it to be compact. And I also want it to have as most storage and the least amount of area. Which is just another way of saying compact. We might have to figure out a better system than this. Uh, we also need to figure out how fast we can send items down a water stream without them combining into the same stack. Because that is kind of an issue as well. I click faster than the brain runs. Hmm. How would we test that? I'm not sure how fast these things can drop items, even.
It's definitely faster than my auto clicker for some reason, even though it shouldn't be. I can't even open that because it's being activated. And then a chest right there and a couple pieces of glass. Yeah, 43,000 more points to tell Mega Flex. This compact goes in. Yeah, I guess so. Halfway to Omega. Stay right there, I guess. Make that simpler. Uh, is that actually going to be enough water to push that over? <laughs> I guess that's definitely rapid fire, isn't it? Yeah, we need to make this fire the other direction, I think. Fire sideways into the water stream, so... Something like that, I suppose. And because this is super janky already, let's just make it jankier. Let's make this the worst redstone I've ever built. How about that? Keep those items in place. I think we also need to feed this at two times speed as well. So that means that we need to power that right there and then have the hoppers on this side. <laughs> when my re worst rest on still better than yours. Eh. I'm sure you, you do fine. This stuff is nothing to really, uh, you know, write home about. But it, it might work. Again, this is all just prototyping phase. Trying to figure stuff out. What exactly do we need to have for the requirements for the system to work? I also want to poke around with lays a little bit more, too. Uh, so is that all getting picked up by that one? That should be fast enough. We might need double droppers? I want to figure out how fast we can throw items into the stream. That is important. Because again, we're trying to make sure that we don't have the items stack up. We don't want two different items in one location at the same time. That's a dropper, right? Yes, it is. Okay, good. You have two different items at the same spot at the same time, then you're going to have the hopper bug uh, coming into play, and that's not a good idea. I'm trying to avoid that at all costs. Because that hopper bug sucks. I can't believe they haven't fixed it either. I It's literally been on the bug tracker for like two years, and I made a really big fit about it. At least, like, four different times. Don't have us pick it up an entire stack of time. Uh, there's a bug where if there is two items, like, in the same location at once, it won't pick up the second item. It'll only try and pick up the first item, even if it can technically pick up the second one. So, if these are item filters, then that bug is going to ruin us. Yeah, see, some of these are stacking up two in one slot. And I think the only way to fix that is to have that point into a stair, maybe. But it still needs to go to, like, the left. That's just, that's just going up. That's not particularly helpful. Really? 
really shouldn't be going up, but okay, okay. whatever. Uh, let's try that. Nah, okay. Stairs, can't have them in front of it, apparently. Smojang, watch my vids. I've had a couple devs request videos even, which is kind of cool. Uh, back in the day, a few videos made it up the chain of command, which is cool. It's not like I have any say or anything, though. <laughs> I'm just a person on the internet. One of bajillions of Minecraft players. Uh, let's try that out. Hopefully that'll get it across all the way down. Like, I just need to get perfectly lined up and not have multiple in one, one stack. Yeah, see, those two are stacked up. That's not going to help us out. Those are three in a row. Might need a slower clock. Because I don't think this is going to work out for item sorters. We could build a little mini item sorter right here for all these different items and try that out. Because maybe this isn't an issue, but if any of these items are getting past an item filter, then that would be bad. If we can store items at this speed, though, like, that would be pretty decent. I'd be okay with that. And then we could do that on the other side, too. And maybe we don't even need two times item sorters for that. A slab or a trapdoor? Uh... A slab jab. Slab to jab. I don't know what that's going to do. Go straight down? No, it still just goes over to the side. Yeah, see, we're still getting them doubled up. Okay, well, let's just try this out on the large sorter up here, and we'll just give each one of these a different item. Let's just pick out nine different items. Shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and And then we will just block this off at the end right here so that we can know if anything doesn't get sorted. And we'll just break that one, because why not? Okay. This is essentially what we had down there anyway, right? Should be fine. And give myself a comparator clock right here. If this works out, then that would be great. But if not, then eh, whatever. We'll just have to figure out a way to dispense items slower or either either that or get them into uh, individual stacks. I think that should work out, though. Upside down stair. Yeah, if the dropper is facing straight down, then that works. By any other orientation, it just goes straight up. Which is kind of weird. But you know what? I'll keep these because that filter needs to be rebuilt. Okay, uh, let's try that out then, shall we? Yeah, see, items are getting past it. Pain. They're actually lined up correctly, aren't they? They should all be running into that and falling straight down. We set up item filters for diamond blocks. Yeah, redstone. 
We have the guardian eggs. We got the gold. Gold is not in here. I don't know why that one didn't pick up. That one probably should have picked up. Hello, Q. Welcome in. Yeah, maybe we do need to drop them in a little bit earlier on the stream. That could that could maybe happen. Uh, let's see if there is anything I can do about this. How about that? So far, so good, actually. Nah, we're still missing a couple. Yeah, these double stacked items. That's that's ruining us. Yep. So dumb. Such a dumb bug. Yeah, like those two right there. Double stacked. Okay, so we need to dispense them slower or get them separated i don't know if we can separate them out very well besides if we shoot them straight down so i guess let's just try that whatever if that ends up working then great i can work around that i can i can deal with that that's not a deal breaker such a silly little mechanic though isn't it it's not even a mechanic it's a bug it's the worst bug ever if it weren't for that bug, we could legit just send like 10,000 items down this one water stream and have no issues. They could just send down stacks of 64 and it would be great. No problem. You just put your farm output straight into this water stream. And uh, that, would, that would be it. But no, can't have that. Acceptable losses. Not really. No, that's a lot of items. Unless you want to, like, send them back around. But the idea with this is, like, you set up one or two item filters for every single item that you get from your farm. And then everything left over is going to be non-stackable items. You send those to the LAs. Sort out what you want. Everything else goes into fire. So, yeah, you don't really want your store system to be lossy. That's not really a great idea. And we should be able to work around it anyway, I think. It's not a guaranteed issue. It's just something that's gonna take some brain, some brain functioning, <laughs> which is a big ask, but <laughs> I think I can get my three brain cells kicked into low gear. They haven't been started up in a long time, but I think if we, <laughs> we try, Put some starter fluid in there. We might have a good good chance. Okay, that actually looks a lot better. I don't see any doubles. Okay. Is that two gold blocks? Actually, I think that's fine. Yeah, if two items of the same type group up, that's actually fine. I'm not seeing any doubleage. You guys notice any doubleage? There was two uh, deep slate diamonds in the same batch, but that's fine. Two obsidian, two gold, two diamond. Yeah, it's picking those up fine. How is it still missing items? Bruh. It's too fast. Yeah, okay, so... Let's, uh, let's slow down the game. I think I know what's happening here. There's two... There's still two items above the hopper at any given time. But they are not in the same stack. They're not, like, right next to each other. That's really annoying. So, let me describe that. So, if this block right here is a hopper, we have one item on that corner and one item on that corner. 
and it's still only trying to pick up that item, even though it can pick up that item. That's really strange and dumb. Big dumb. Okay. So, slower clock, then. Ugh. Spike candles. Uh, we figured out that problem. We just need to, s we just need to send them out slower. Okay. What is slightly slower than a comparator clock? I think Observer is probably the next one down. Or, you know what? We can put a repeater on that. I think that's what you do. Yeah, you can put a repeater right there, and that does it. We shouldn't miss any items from that. Try no ice. Now, that would just make the items bunch up even more. Why is it all diamonds? Oh, I see. Because it ran out of items. Yeah, I think an observer clock will be faster than that. Uh, we'll just have to build that real quick. <laughs> Ultra fast item sorter, fed by slow item stream. Yeah, that's why we're going to have one on each side. So maybe we can just get away with single speed item sorters. Honestly. Kind of disappointing, but whatever. Uh, observe yours. Seems like a fairly good speed. Uh, let's slow, slow it down. Because you never want two items to be above the same one at one time. Yeah, see, there's a, these are spaced out by a block. That's exactly what you want. Actually, this is like perfect timing right here. Because before, they were spaced out by less than a block. And that was causing us issues. Okay. Well, that's a silly. I wonder how many items that shoots out per hour. Because this is definitely not fast enough for a double speed item sorter. Uh, I guess what we can do is we can just fill it up completely with diamond blocks and then see how that functions. Granter instead of repeater should be half tick faster. How is it still missing? Rip. What? Physics is breaking, guys. It should be it should be perfectly fine. No, it wasn't. It wasn't fine. <laughs> They're just skipping right on over. Is it not lined up perfectly? What's the issue? No, they're definitely lined up because they're getting picked up. Okay. <sighs> hmm. Pain. Pain and suffering. <laughs> pain and suffering. At the hands of Bedrock Edition. <laughs> this really should not be an issue. been updating windows for the past six hours that sounds like a lot of pain i've been there before i'm sorry for your loss let them space out more before you send them in yeah so just drop them out further i mean this is working perfectly fine it definitely doesn't need to be double hopper speed though uh let's spam it So this is single hopper speed right here. Compared to clock is single hopper speed. Okay. Yeah, we don't need double items. Item. Okay. Fine. Another two hour update. Yeah, hopefully not. That sounds bad. 
Okay. Let's bring this out further away. One of these ones had all the items in it. Yeah, maybe that'll help it out a little bit. Because they're bunched up too much. That's, that's causing a problem for us. Not a good... Right, that's probably going to be too close for this, isn't it? No, maybe not. Oh, they're bunching up because of no water as well. Okay. That might actually be causing an issue further down the line, but it was also happening in the middle of the line too. If it was just the water this whole time, that's going to be annoying. Nah, it's still missing. Fairly good, but not quite good enough. Okay, let's slow it down. Slow it down. It misses a lot less now. It's it's getting there. It's getting better. Slowly but surely, we we do get the betterness. It's so much slower. Let's try the observer clock. <laughs> I just want a lossless item sorter. And I can't have it! Pain. 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 Do you guys get that reference? If you do, you'll be my favorite. It's from Doctor Who. It's the Cybermen. How's my day going? It's going all right. How you doing, uh, J Dream? That better not miss any items. If this misses items, I shall be in much pain. The mob spawn on leaves of snow. Only if it's uh, above eight layers of snow, I think. If it gets above eight layers of snow, that becomes a full block, I think. So if you have too much snow, then that's a problem. That's why you got to put string on top of your snow. Or string on top of your leaves. Uh, string also prevents fire from lava and from lightning. I assume you're probably wondering about a mob farm or something. Ray farm. Pain reference? It's just my life. Oof. Yeah, so this isn't the entirety of the system. The items gotta 100% be sorted by this system. And then they're gonna continue on and go off to an LA item sorter. Because what's left from here is just gonna be non-stackable items, probably. Or the trash items. So anything that comes past here is either non-stackable or trash. Uh, if you have a farm that doesn't produce non-stackables, then you're only going to be sorting out what you want. Everything else goes to a fire. If you do produce non-stackable items, then you sort out everything, including the things that you don't want. Uh, you'll just drop them into a fire instead of keeping them. And then non-stackables will go on from here to an LA item sorter and be sorted out from there. From which point you'll keep the good ones, toss the bad ones. Uh, if that wasn't the plan, then yeah, we could just loop them back around, but that also introduces more complexity and more issues and more pain. Pain. 
String is OP. String is very good. Hi, DPC. Welcome in. <laughs> Stone diamond ore is uh, kind of rare nowadays. So that was perfectly fine, wasn't it? I don't. I didn't see any issues with that one. Did you guys? I don't think that one had problems. So can we make it any faster? We need to be just slightly faster than this. Or slightly slower than this. And I don't think... Can we use a burnout clock? No, burnout clocks are illegal. So are observer clocks. Literally unusable. Uh, can we just get away with this? I feel like that's about the same speed. I don't really know which one of those is faster. This one or the comparator clock with two comparators. It's only one item per chest. Uh, so this one is going to be sorting item one. This is going to be sorting item one. This is going to be item two, item two. Uh, so you'll be sorting the same thing on both sides. And then we're going to be sending items down the right side and down the left side. So it'll be kind of like that and that. And then they're too far away, so they won't combine. Yeah, I mean, this works. This works fine. The burnout clocks work. Uh, the problem with burnout clocks is that they randomly break and they're unreliable, especially for like realms and stuff like that. They're just super unreliable. Same with observer clocks. That's why I never use either of those two. Basically, the only clocks I ever use is this nice little repeater clock or comparator clocks. Because they're just so dead simple. A blue sheep blueberry. We can do that. <laughs> yeah, let's take a little bit of a, a tiny break from this, shall we? Let's teleport just 400 blocks, not 4,500. Burned out and unreliable. <laughs> well, I wasn't trying to describe everyone here, but I appear to have done that regardless. Is a blue sheep. We actually do need an anvil over here. If we're going to be doing this a lot, then we kind of need all of that. Name tags, all that good stuff. Name and name, blueberry, right? No placing. Placing things? I don't know the entirety of that ban in action. Let me know what the rest of that's supposed to mean. That's a blueberry. Thank you, Salt. Something that's not terrible. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, whoops. I, I marked your redemption as uh, complete. Tell me what you wanted the ban in action to be, and I'll do it. Supposed to be a light blue sheep, is it? It just said blue. Never even been more offended by something you agree with. That's the idea. Lacey, the plural of plaque. Keep my teeth clean. Ah, yes. Brush your teeth, kids. And everyone else, too. It's important. Brush them at least twice a day when you wake up, before you go to bed, after every meal. Good dental hygiene will serve you very well. You only really get one set of teeth. Well, two, but you don't, you don't, you're not old enough to care about your first set of teeth. Was it supposed to be light blue? Okay. It, it was. Well, I just read the word blue, and you know what? That's, that's what you got. Bam! You happy now? It's a blueberry! It, it could have been either one. Could have just been a very... 
ripe blueberry. Okay, uh, let's swap this out for just standard uh, single speed item filters because we're not going to be able to get double speed with the stupidity of uh, certain <clears throat> mechanics. Uh, which means that the whole thing is actually getting compacted, which is great. We'll just build that on this end then. Uh, how exactly do we want to do that? That's got to face to the side. This is why it's good to do a lot of preliminary like testing and development for things because you never know what kind of tiny little issues you're going to run into that just throw a giant wrench into all of your plans for as far as the eye can see. Like this one little bug just makes it so that we have to completely do an entirely different style of system. Uh, okay, that saves us a block at least. So that takes us from what? 13 down to 11? That's not too bad. And then the ends of these can actually touch as well. So the next one could go like right here on the other side. And then your comparator would be right here. They can't share this piece of redstone though because then it would go down on both sides. Am I making? Trying to make an OP storage system. Keyword there is try. Word of the day is attempt. That's usually how these things go. You know, the, uh, the absolute fact of you should never try to do math on a live stream. The same goes for redstone. You should never try and do redstone on a live stream, especially from scratch. But now I've dug myself a hole where I have to uh, do redstone on a live stream. And I'm sticking to it. <laughs> okay, that should be all we need for that. not quite wait what happened to the comparator did you get pushed over it must have gotten pushed over okay and that should be fine we'll just save that I have to reload those item filters, but that's fine. Is this supposed to drop items? I thought it was supposed to override everything, not like drop, drop items like that. Maybe it was just like a block too, too high for it. That's got a bunch of trash in it. <laughs> Making this for a tutorial or a TV episode? Uh, ideally for a tutorial. We might end up using it someday on Truly Bedrock as well, though. But for right now, I need to design something big and bad to sort out all the really big farms. Because I got a lot of big farms that don't have storage systems to them. Because I usually leave storage systems up to you guys, but we can totally 
just build something big and then it can be used for really any farm that you want it should be customizable to whatever your needs are okay uh let's break that right there And let's see if this works. I think that should be fine. And you know what? Because I am a lazy bone who is not patient, let's just speed that up a little bit. Five times speed. Seems to be reliable. Let's kick that up to... Ooh, 100 times speed. Let's kick that up to 20 times. That seems to be reliable. It's not missing any items. Okay, that's exactly what we need. So now we need to figure out how to get items on the left side and the right side of the stream. And that seems like it might be a little bit more difficult than I originally anticipated. There's, a, there's an easy way to do it, but I forget how. Uh, so let's go do a little bit of testing out down below shall we because that allows us to double the amount of items we sort per stream basically hasn't missed an item yeah that was pretty solid that's exactly how it should be like that's that's your premium right there you don't want it to miss any items that's good single speed uh all of your stuff ends up in the chest down here which we can't open because it's a bad design that's fine don't worry about it uh, those two don't count. That diamond block is just there from the structure block. Yeah. Okay. So that, yeah, that's exactly what you want. Brilliant. Trapdoor. I need to download Trapdoor. I think Groova might have been telling me about that. I have no idea what it does, but it sounds fun. Trapdoors are great. They go. Trap. Dory. <laughs> What a trapdoor sound like? I don't think it's a sound that humans can make. Yeah, I, I don't know how to make that sound. Yeah. Was trapdoor mod? I don't know. It's uh, a cheaty thing. Where is packed ice in these dang inventories? There it is. Okay, let's let's think about this. So, can we line it up from from like this side and have that work? kind of a heart something like this but not exactly I want like probably a wall and some buttons and then you're just gonna have like glass panes on the sides of it from there on out a heart or another shape uh let's see use our premium level diamond blocks premium testing material is that going to be right uh it's not quite right uh can you use honey for that you need something that's just slightly smaller of a hitbox it's not going to slow it down is it no what's smaller than that there's not very many things that are horizontally smaller than a block. There's a lot of things that are vertically smaller than a block, but we need more things that are horizontally. Like there is lanterns, but those are probably too small. There is 
flower pots. Oh, grindstones might actually be a legit good one. That might be what we need. There's end rods. Those are way too small. Sea pickles. It needs to be. It needs to have a uh, collision box. And just soul sand on the sides of it. Anvil. Sea pickles are smaller than a block horizontally, but you can walk right through them. You need to be able to run into it. That's getting closer. Uh, maybe we don't need to use chests right here, actually. I'm not sure if that's landed on the blocks or if it just stopped having momentum. Oh, uh, it landed on the blocks. That's too... That's not enough, is it? Hold on. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Yeah, that's definitely too slow, for sure. Let's see, hopper. That will pick it up, but it's not going to be good enough for what we need. Yeah, see, it just lands on the blocks. Okay. Oh, that combined even. That's not great. Wall. Wall is a good option. I literally had that in my inventory, but did not think about it. Yeah, see, that lands too far over now. Gotta be a way to line that up. This method that I'm using might not be the greatest. Oh, it doesn't even get into the hoppers. Okay, so is that too far over then? I need something in between that. Right, anvils. I don't think that's far enough over. Yeah, okay. Sideways anvils! <laughs> Uh, these are going to have hoppers underneath them. Yeah, see, that's not good enough. It's got to be further over than that. So, walls, no. Grindstones. I think grindstones are the same. We had another option, didn't we? I think it was lantern. Oh, fences. Fences or fence gate. That might just be the right size. That might just be getting perfect. No, that's too much. That's gonna be the same. Hmm. End rod is gonna be too much as well. We need slightly. We need something that's like slightly smaller than a, a wall. Iron bars. This is gonna be way too small. Uh, let's see. There's gotta be a block in here that can do it. The flower, yeah, we could try a flower pot. I'm pretty sure that's four pixels wide. So that should be the same as a fence. Right? Yeah, that's that's probably the same as a fence. Oh, right. It also gets split away. Not quite ideal, is it? Hmm. Brewing, actually? That might just kind of work. Is it going to get stuck or something? Nah. Okay, never mind. There's so many blocks in this game. It's hard to pick one. Candle. Can... Mm, does those get flowed off? Might just barely work. Oh, you can't place it right there. You can't place it in water, but it flows past water. Yeah, it's not going to be good enough. Uh, so we need to... Basically do what we're doing, but better. How are we going to do that? So many blocks. Let's see. There's got to be something in here we can use. Actually a pointed driftstone. How big is that? Oh, it's always going to be on a certain spot. That's unreliable, isn't it? Because they're never lined up. Yeah, it's random. Okay, well, we can't use that then. That's not going to be reliable. That's kind of mildly disappointing 
I don't think there's anything on this page, unless it's like a chorus fruit, but I'm pretty sure those are going to be randomized as well. Also, who wants to go to the end? No one wants to go to the end. Let's try lanterns. Lanterns, you are my only hope. Well, that just we went all the way, all the way to the wrong side. And the shard? Uh, actually, yes, you have a great point with that, because those are different sizes. That might just do it. And I think those are reliable as well. Yeah, yeah, actually. Check that out. That's a great idea. Okay, we have to avoid them getting in between the cracks. <gasps> that might just do it. Yeah, they can kind of get in between the cracks there. That might just do it. Hold on. Is it going to get picked up by Hopper? Yes! Uh, maybe. How reliable is that? I think I was just too fast for it. <laughs> That does seem to do it, actually. Very good suggestion. Who said that? Cook chicken. SMH. My face. Fridge. Good suggestion. A chest. Yeah, we started off with chests, but those are too big. Uh, so we need to uh, bring our water in closer. So I think we can put our water source right there. Actually, no. Water source would need to be like right here. And then our dropper would drop them down right here in the middle of the block. Hmm, maybe it does need to be over here then. Hmm. Yeah, we need to reliably get that to go forward. That might be a bit difficult using a dropper because they shoot out kind of with some unreliabilities. There might be another way of doing this, though. Your battery's dying. Charge that phone slash device with a battery in it. So if we drop an item in and it's in a water stream that's pushing it to the left, it might just kind of drift left naturally over time. It's going to get hard to line that up perfectly. And I don't think we can do it with something like this, can we? This is not going to be on the ice. Yeah, see, it's too, it's too far over. Yeah, so the amethyst shards really are like the best bet. Far enough. Hmm. Yeah. The gap in between the shards is the problem with that. And there really, there might not be another option, huh? You might be able to get away if not lying it up on a block, but I'm not sure how you would do that. Because we need to have it, like, right on this line and right on this line. We tried a honey block. Maybe we just need to do it the standard way. And just shoot, like, have the dropper shoot into a chest. Uh, but we were having issues with that doubling up items. So that's why we're trying to test out this method here. Uh, let's keep this in place. Because this does actually work to an extent. So I think I can figure out how to do that. Uh, we'll just build another one over here. Cake. You are right, cake. Is that a directional thing? Yeah, it's directional. I always forget about cake. Cake is a valuable redstone component. And we need to remember that. Very valuable member of the redstone community. 
has been for eons. You can read it with a comparator, people. Eat a slice. I ate several. Thank you. I, I ate it without asking. It's just... I, I didn't save you guys any either. I, I didn't even offer you any. I'm sorry. I'm a terrible host. Here, you can have one cake. Between all 140 of you, you have one cake. You each get... Probably a less... Like, a half a pixel. You get half a pixel of a cake. Nom, 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 nom. Cake got suggested like 10 times. Well, I don't read chat. You should know this. Come on. SMH. I'm saying SMH too much, aren't I? Yes, this was kind of like the original idea. And I it, I don't like it too much because it's hard to do. There was a way to have these guys... I think it was a glass pane... Actually, you know what? We might be doing this the dumb way. Which, you know, typical, I know. But what if we just had a piece of water right here shoot into a chest? And then we had a piece of water right here shoot into that chest? And then we don't need to worry about the droppers because we just have the droppers over here. E. Did not mean to type that, but I'm living with it. Yeah, so that should drop the items all the way across to there. And then that should drop the items over across to there. And then we have our drop your right above this. There's gotta be a better way of doing this. I think there is. But I'm a, I'm a dumb, so I can't figure it out right this second. Might be able, might be even able to push it into a wall or something and just have it fall straight down. Like that, yeah. As long as that actually gets picked up by a hopper. It doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Uh, and then you put a chest right there. And then... Hope for the best. Nope. That's not going to let an item fall down into there. Mm, yeah, I think this method would work fine, though. As long as it has enough momentum. Oh, right. That should actually work, though. Even for that side. As long as it doesn't overflow. Like over... Extend. Yeah, okay. That actually works. Okay. Fair enough. Except that those aren't getting picked up. Why aren't you getting picked up? What is your problem? You should totally get picked up by the hopper. Unless it just needs to be further down the line. There's no reason you shouldn't get picked up by the hopper. You are perfectly lined up. Hopper directionality. Don't tell me about that now. I don't need to worry about another bug. <laughs> it works perfectly fine up there, so I don't think it's directionality. You have 150,000 pickup points? That's too many. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> it 
Seriously, why does that not work though? D don't don't say the words directionality. It's got to be a chunk border. Hold up. Whenever in doubt, chunk border. To save or ruin the day. It's a god dang chunk border. I called it. I knew it. It's a chunk border. I called it. Look at this. Bedrock edition gets two bad points for the day. <laughs> okay. Bedrock edition is twice as dumb as I am as of today's live stream. <laughs> Okay, that makes me feel better. <laughs> That's really dumb. We just need to move this whole thing over by a block. Oh, jeez. Welcome to Bedrock Edition, people. Ah! Yep. Okay. That's great. Freaking chunk borders, dude. And you thought I was crazy. Old pig yells at chunk borders. Well, there's an actual chunk border. I've destroyed the Bedrock Edition today. Two, two, zero, or one, one to two. I don't know how to score things. There we go. Yeah, destroying Bedrock Edition. Okay, let's make sure that's not on Chunk Border again. Did I just move the Chunk Border to the opposite side? I think I did. Yeah, so now it's on that side. Okay, one more block over. Uh, let's move it two blocks over because I don't feel safe. Y'all have me paranoid with directional hoppers? I don't need to know about that. <laughs> don't tell me about directional hoppers. I have too much pain in my life already. I don't need... I don't need bad things. I'm, but I'm crazy. I am crazy, but I'm right. That's all that matters in life. As long as you're right, you can be crazy. <laughs> Did it work? It's, it's gonna work. Look at that. Straight into the hopper. Straight into the hopper. Like nobody's business. I'm a smart person. I know how to do basic things. Using redstone in a video game that's probably made for kids. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm something of a intellectual. Okay, that's actually going to be pretty good. I like how they're alternated, too. That actually does look pretty cool. Pretty cool. I did a smart... I did a... I don't want to go as far as to say that it's a smart, but we did a thing. A thing has been accomplished here. That, sh that did not have to take as long as it did. Yeah, I'm not quite confident in saying that it's a smart. But a thing is a pretty non-descriptive descriptor, so. I think I can get away with saying that. Okay, uh, let's install this up there real quick, and then that'll give us an idea if we're actually doing this correctly or not. I did an almost smart. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. You know, I'll take it. it... <laughs> an almost smart. Thank you, thank you. I'm here four times a week. Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard, 8.30 uh, Eastern, late UK, early Australian. Drop a follow on the stream for more big brain smarty moves. When it comes to the Bedrock Edition, you won't be disappointed, I swear. I have all the best brains, all of the smartest redstone. Uh, right then. Water right there, and then we need our dummy. 
droppers. Dummy is the technical term for this device because it is a temporary item. All oh, right, then we also need to set up these item filters too. I did not think that this portion of the build is what was going to take so long, but it's been a learning experience regardless. So, thank you guys for being here with me for it. I know some of these redstone streams are pain, but I feel like if I have to suffer through this on my own sometimes, then there should be some collective suffering as well. You guys, you're not allowed to escape the suffering of redstone. That's not fair. Everybody has to suffer a little bit when it comes to redstone. Just a little bit. Not all the time, but just a little bit of suffering. Goes a long way. Builds character. Okay. I broke a piece of glass over here. I'm not sure which one that was. Let's see how well this works. that my clock over there okay fine whatever just run that up is that gonna have enough signal strength yeah look at that beautiful it didn't quite catch the one on the end here because it didn't have a good block in it that's not too shabby not too shabby smooth sailing Yeah, we're trying to make a big old sword system for raid farms, guarding farms, all that good stuff. Can you receive a new video a few times a month if you're disappointed? I mean, I upload more than a few times a month, so yeah, sure, why not? We like suffering. Good! All of my streams are suffering. Community effort. Yeah, it really is. You guys are great. Help me with all the things that I have problems with. Resident suffering builds character. But not always skills. As your skills suffer. <laughs> Looks kind of cool, too. It's neat. I think there's a better way of doing the the getting stream, getting items on the left and right. But this is a fairly compact way of doing it. And it doesn't have any issues. Uh, we're definitely going to just mute that, up that volume, and then 20 times speed it. Yeah, that's not too bad. Doesn't seem to be missing any items. Yep, not missing any items. Great. If it misses items at this point in the stream, then I'm just going to have to burn the whole thing. <laughs> burn it to the ground. Clicks intensifies. Yeah, okay. So it just sorted 18 stacks of items without missing a single one, uh, which is a great... I don't think we can speed it up anymore. Maybe if there's like a slightly faster clock than this, maybe, I'm not sure. It has to be slower than observer and it has to be slower than comparator clock. But yeah, that's that's good. So you can sort out two of the same items on both sides without having to worry about that bug. How do you plan on getting rid of the armors, tools, and crossbows? So you'll sort out all of your stackable items here if your farm produces non-stackables, then that'll go off into the next part of the system. And then you'll hook an allay item sorter onto the end of it. We did not get to the allays today, uh, but maybe we'll do a te technical to Saturday. <laughs> When's the next Discord music party? Anytime. Anytime you want to have a Discord music party, just hop into the channel. Play some music. People will join you. Just takes one person. Uh, Lamar J, thank you for the follow. We also got Tap, Thaniel, Mark, and Reptile, Tomo Carey, uh, with the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Welcome in. We got Sher and J Dream, along with NDG, the boss, 
uh, the Lima Bean, Gabriel, Wither Skeleton, Ghost, and your boy, along with Non Poisonous, Ivy, Wormwood, Raptor Tech, JMC, and TNT Chicken. Thank you for the follows, everybody. I haven't read notifications in two hours, apparently. But <laughs> thank you so much, everyone. Really appreciate it. Technical to Saturdays. Yeah. Technical to Sunday. Technical to Monday. Technical Tuesday. Technical to Wednesday. Ooh, Wednesday. That's not, that has a ring to it. Te technical to Wednesday. Twesday. Technical Thursday. Technical twi twi day. Twif day. Twif day. Technical to Saturday. Technical to sort silent. Yeah, very good. <laughs> just have to, uh, just hope on uh, there will be a tutorial. Yeah, uh, once I get this more developed and stuff, then there will be a tutorial for it. I need to figure out a couple things, obviously. Uh, hopefully get it more compact than this. I do like the idea of using two sets of item filters per water stream, though. That's pretty great, because that actually does help you keep things compact. It doesn't look compact, because, you know, it's this giant blob of redstone. But it is a block more compact than if you did it the other way around. And it actually does save you blocks on the other side as well, because these can touch on the end. Whereas, otherwise, they'd be getting to this area, and then that might power your hoppers or something. So, there's, there's some merits to this build. Better make a tutorial by September 27th. What happens on September 27th? Is that a anniversary? Do you get a new dog on that day? What happens? Your grandma's birthday? Do you get a promotion? I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching tonight's stream. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you have, then of course consider to drop a follow as is the best way to support the channel. Make sure you catch future live streams. Definitely check out the other links there in the chat. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you don't miss more tutorials when they release. And otherwise, consider joining our Discord server or following me on Twitter or TikTok. All of those good places. Uh, there's links to absolutely everything that we have on the website. I doubt there's going to be anyone to raid right now uh doesn't seem like there is so i think we'll just call it here have a great night everybody i love your faces and then there was silence